Hey guys, so we're back, and this is video number two. There's another one processing right now. It's a little Zuni Bear cane I made. Not really happy with it, but I'll still show the video because it it's basically just shows you a concept of how you can use your cutters um, to make a cane. Mine are never always perfect, so they probably won't get any better. But this I wanted to make some marble. And what I'm trying to do is condition some Cernet translucent. You can use Fimo, you can use Primo. It doesn't really matter what you use. But since I've got this out, I'm using it. And you want this at the thinnest setting that you possibly can get it. I had wrapped this in deli paper earlier um, to kind of protect it from cracking and stuff like that as I go thinner and thinner. But it didn't work very well. So I'm just going to go straight through my machine and pray that I can lay this down without it ripping. I don't know how easy that's going to be. But we are going to do our best. Okay, so this is a number nine. This is the thinnest setting on my pasta machine and this is basically waste because it folded up on itself ah. let's try this a different way okay what I want to do is I want to make a bunch of squares I'm going to do eight for now and I may be able to do Eight without having to put anything else through the machine. Okay. Hmm. See how easy these come out. Well, not as easy as I would have liked. We're going to redo that one. And no, they don't have to be even. So let me run this back through. Start at a zero just to get it back where it should be. Just gonna go straight to a nine. I only need two of these, so I'm gonna set it up a little higher here. At this point, it's not a must that you see it. I'm gonna do four more just in case. Okay. Much better. Okay, so now we have a lot more than we need. Okay, and then we're going to use some metallic paint. So I'm going to try and make marble here. So I'm going to find a metallic white. And today I am using um, Michael's brand of Artist Loft. There's a metallic black. And we have a metallic silver. Okay, I'm going to go grab a cotton swab here. Okay, and all we're going to do is we're just going to play around here. Just put a little bit of silver on this and then just kind of make lines here. So I'll do two silver, two whites, and two blacks. 
Um, if you have any kind of acrylic, metallic, just use anything you have. Luminaire is a really good brand too. So that's the silver. And there's the black. A little more. You don't want to go too much though or it'll take forever to dry. But I'm going to be doing this pretty much wet. I may let it dry for about five minutes. I will put black on this one. Okay. And now I'm going to do three of them with white. Oh, that's a really big glob right there. So I'll have to get that one off. Okay, so with these three, I'm just going to use white here. I don't know with this being cernet if it's going to make a big difference. I'm hoping that it doesn't. Glob, I don't want that glob there. Just gonna add a little bit more. And then we'll see what happens and if it looks like I need more, then when I make this again, I'll go ahead and add more. Let me get out a paper towel and get this off on my fingers okay so basically we're just gonna stack all this up on top of each other so we'll start with the black I'm just gonna leave the black there and then I think I'm gonna go white okay we're gonna put that right on top and then I'll go silver Right on top of there. And there's another black. To another white. Oop. Turn that guy upside down. To another silver. Do a black. Okay. Can do another white. That's a little bit more than the rest of it, so I'm just gonna pat that down with the paper towel. And then we're gonna do silver. And then on the very top, I'm just going to put translucent. Okay, so now we got a little stack. Like I said, this is a real little stack. Okay. Hopefully I put enough paint on it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack both of these on top of each other and then I'm going to come over here mm, okay let me go ahead and put this through we're just going to make a really really thin piece to put through where the rest of my stuff go 
And this is just to keep it from escaping. Okay, so. I make it so that it kind of goes over the top like that. And then a little over the bottom. So this doesn't have to be perfect. You're just kind of protecting it so that all that clay and paint doesn't just squish out. So again, this is not something that has to be perfect. You're just hiding everything. So I've never used this, this kind of acrylic to do this before. I've always used Luminaire. I just don't have any at the moment that's black, white, or silver. I've got some reds and stuff. Okay, so now we got all that done. So now we're just going to basically do a Makumi Gani cane. And yes, I know this is really small. But I didn't want to waste it if the if this paint didn't work. Okay, so we're going to grab just um, just a bunch of nothings here. I'm just going to grab some, oh, I got some thicker ones, I'm sure, of this. It's like when you need a certain size, you can never find it. Okay, so we're just going to make a bunch of holes. And we want these holes to be small. Because we want it to look like marble. Or close to it. So I go sideways. Okay, I'm going to take a little circle cutter. I'm just going to add some lines in here. Okay, and then again, I'll push those in, kind of smear it. Okay, now. Put all that together. And we're going to slice it up. Okay, some of the paint came through the top. That's okay. Like I said, this is going to be really small. So I am going to grab some white clay. And that is going to be our base. I don't think I'm going to need a lot of this. But this is going to be cut at a number one through the pasta machine. If I can get a pair of earrings out of this, I'm happy. Okay, and then we're just going to lay that down. And now we're just going to slice it. And we're going to slice it really thin. And we're just going to lay it down anywhere. Your strips don't have to be perfect. You can lay them horizontal, vertical, diagonal. Just play with your shapes any way you want it. Just make sure it's really thin and that way 
the white underneath will come out. This one's really thin. But then I blew it. You see, you don't have to watch this entire process. This is all I'm going to do. And then I'm probably going to turn it over and put more on the other side. My hands are really sticky because of paint. But let me go ahead and just put this all on the top and the bottom. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I got that done with a little spare. I did cut some white off because I didn't think I'd have enough, but I did. So I'm going to grab some printer paper here. Excuse me for the loud noise. Huh. Just want to cut that off. Okay. So now basically we're just going to use the brayer or your fingers. And we're going to make sure it's all in. So right here I got a little bit of white showing. Trying really hard not to get any white to show through this. Son of a gun. Didn't lay where it was supposed to lay. And you can run it through the pasta machine at a zero. But I'm going to wait till I got a nice a nice firm spot here. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And I'm running it through at the thickest setting. That's interesting. I don't remember that silver being there before. It's a big one now. And I got it on both sides, so it should look like marble when it comes out. So now it's okay. What kind of a base do I want to put this on? So I do have these one earrings. I don't know how good it'll look with this, though. But we're going to try it at least. So these are some new ones as well. I do not have these online yet. As you can see, I test everything before I put anything online. So that's the smallest one of those. And that's the smallest. Okay, so we're just going to lay this anywhere actually. like that but it's already done so I'm gonna do that okay then the other one I have is a little different yeah as you can see I make a lot of testers okay and that brings me to the next thing we'll talk about that right after we do this video okay so I'm gonna go one, two, okay, so I do need two round circles for this. Oh, I don't know where that green came from. Go away. Okay, so I'm going to do this right here. Okay, and then we need the bottom of that one, which is this. Excuse me. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to do that. And then we can try just a pendant just to see what that's going to look like. Um, or actually... Oh, I'm like... I got so much stuff. Not even funny. Let's see if I can find one more cutter. Obviously, I like earrings over anything because that's mostly what people like anyways. It's always finding that perfect shape. Okay, well. Let's go one smaller than that. It's not the shape that I want, but it's going to have to do, I think. And then if I can get one of these on the other side, I will. So I can mirror it. Okay. And this is something you can put back together and run it through again. But it's so, it's so busy. And I can't see where it starts and where it ends. There we go. I think I think that's all. Oh, and then there's a piece right there. And if there's any messies on it, I'm not worried about it. I'll clean that up when I sand it. So we're gonna cut a strip of paper here. And I can definitely make the other half of this. So both sides have the marble, so that way you don't have to put a backing on them. My hands are sticky with paint, so I'm having a little bit of problems here. Yeah, I don't think those worked real well, but we'll see what happens when it comes out. So now I just need one more side to this. And it's bigger than that, but not as big as that. And again, I tested it, so I may not have made both sides. I did, so it's gotta be in this little container somewhere. That one's too small. I just need one more. Okay, and I am not going to be able to find it, so I think we're going to cut it a little smaller than what it is. That's that same size, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to go one size smaller, and then this I'm going to bunch all together like that. And I'm even going to put a bit on top. And that way it should be thick enough to run through the pasta machine. And it kind of was. So we're just going to put some on the back here. Ah, it's, it's cool that we're able to do that. And yeah, it's probably not going to be even. Well, again, this is just test. I mean, if I really wanted to get serious, all I got to do is grab another piece of our stack and lay that on and then run it through. And I should be okay. You just want to make sure you're even, basically. Yeah, I'm doing the 
this a little helter skelter here. Okay. So now we kind of got the squigglies going on here. All right, so we'll put those in for an hour. We'll come back and let you see what those look like. So, um, okay, so what I wanted to say was I wanted to thank you all for being here, for always coming back, for always giving me a supportive word um, and kindness. I don't delete any of my comments. I've heard so many people have these horrible comments and things said to them. And they always have somebody monitoring their site to see these comments. I've never had that. I've been very blessed. Um, I've got great peers that watch my channel. You are peers. You're no subscribers. You're no followers. You're just a co-clayer, basically. Um, but I appreciate everything that you guys do for me. So we are at like 49 and something hundred subscribers. So what I'd like to do is at 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away four boxes. And what we're going to do is, I'm not sure the size of the boxes yet, but they're probably going to be about four by four, three by three or four by four, because I have cutters. I mean, this is what I do for a living. I test everything out. This is just a small one, okay? So look at how many cutters we'll fill in this one. I've got the huge Rubbermaid ones, like, well, they're not huge, but they're big. Okay, here's one. Ugh. Okay, so it's a big container here. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's pretty big. It's, um, sorry, i got to put you back. I'm dropping you here. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. There you go. So it's, it's huge. So I have one, two, three, I have four of these underneath me. That's not including the one I just showed you. And that's what's in my studio. In my office, which is where the computer and everything is, I have a box. And I don't know if any of you ever go to Costco, but Costco carries these sourdough pretzels in like a, it looks like a barrel kind of jug. I've got two of those full. So I need to get rid of these cutters. Um, I can make any more if I like mine. I can always make more. I don't need to keep these here. But just to say thank you to everybody, I'm going to give away four of those boxes. It could be duplicates from stuff that you've already got. It could be something new. I am not going to pick them out for everybody. I am just going to grab a handful, throw them in a box, and off they go. So... When we get to 5,000, what we'll do is we will have you comment on that video. I'm going to say this is the 5,000 number video. Comment with a number between 1 and 5,000. When you get to that point, then we will pick four numbers using the random.org um, page. So you can see me picking the numbers at the same time it's happening. You can be as close as you can to the number without going over. So if the number is 89 and you're 78 and there's nobody in between 78 and 89, it's yours. If the number is 89 and you're 90, 91, that's too bad. It went over. So we're going to do four of those. So stay tuned for that. Like, share, subscribe, um, whatever you want to do. Also, if you're a subscriber... Those are the ones that can enter if you're just passing through. I'd rather give, I mean, not that I'm saying you're not a good person or anything like that because you're just traveling through. You can do that. But for the ones that have followed me and helped me on my journey, um, you have to be a subscriber of the channel in order to um, get in on the giveaway. So that's it, you guys. I'm going to put up my little, um, my other clay video that I made. It was my, I'll show it to you. It's really ugly. If you like it, hey, I might sell you the cane for cheap. But it didn't turn out all that great. But anyways, I'm still going to share how I made that. But as you can see, the triangles were just off. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take the triangles completely off. And um, I'm going to get rid of all of it and just use this. And maybe I'll make something else later. I don't know. But the, the border is gone. 
So if you see the other video and go, ooh, that turned out really ugly, just know that I am going to take the borders that are on that one and I'm going to remove them all so that we just have our little Zuni bear and the outside and then I'm going to make another border. I think we can do it. Um, I pray we can do it, but we're going to take this apart and redo it. If you want, I can make a video of me taking it apart and redoing it so that you know how to do it for if you have something like that and you need to take it apart. But it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just cutting it off and putting something else on. But maybe we'll do that later. But that's it for today. I'm going to let you guys go. Have a blessed week. Um, and we'll talk to you hopefully later on this week or Sunday at the latest. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.